What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm finally bringing you week one of my Barry Sanders Heisman Challenge mode. If you remember, we chose Iowa State Cyclones, uh, and we're going against Tulsa. And if you take a look at the top left and top right, uh, those are just like the little facts on the loading screen. I have them in the description below. Uh, but basically, I have to get 182 yards and two scores to match what Barry Sanders did this game, along with a kickoff return for touchdown. Uh, which is going to be very difficult. Now, I don't have to match it. Um, it would just be nice, you know, just to keep in check uh, with things. Like, you know, I kind of want to try to get around 182 yards running um, if I want to match his production for his season. So there's the intro. I mean, you know, nothing really changed with the intros since last game, uh, NCAA 12. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, if you guys don't remember, I am playing on Heisman. Uh, so that is the hardest difficulty. And if you guys have played NCAA in the past, running the ball on Heisman, on default sliders, is not fun at all. Um, it's really, really challenging, and uh, I've, I'm half considering bumping the slide, uh, you know, bumping it down to, uh, I think it's All-American, just to make it easier for me. Uh, but I've already recorded the first four games, the first four games I have on Heisman, and it's going okay. Um... I know for a fact I'm never going to match his like 38 or 39 rushing touchdowns in one season, um, but there's a chance I can get uh, I can match his rushing yards. Uh, I probably have to go into the conference championship game. I'm not sure if um, what is it the Big Ten or the Big 12? I can't remember which one Iowa State's in. I can't remember if they have a championship game, and we'd have to make a bowl game. Uh, in order for me to match those stats, probably, uh, but we'll see. After four games, we'll all, you know, I'll, I'll judge it, I'll analyze it, see if uh, if I should bump it down. But you're gonna see there. In the first quarter, I had seven rushes for 19 yards, so nothing has been going at all so far in this game. Um, like I said, it is on Heisman, so it is very difficult. Um, you're gonna see a lot of the times the the, the defense just blitzes us. And either my guys don't pick up blocks or the, you know, the guys just go unblocked. Uh, but you're going to see Tulsa is going to go ahead and tack on the first field goal, the first points of the game to bring him up 3 nothing. And uh, this should be a game that we should win. Tulsa, I believe, is worse than Iowa State. Uh, so this shouldn't be too, too difficult. And look here, I finally break off a very nice run. This would have been like an 80-yard touchdown. And we get called for holding. So I was not too happy there. I was actually pretty pissed off. Uh, because I had got nothing up to that point. I probably had about 20 yards rushing, and that would have put me, yeah, 28 yards rushing, that would have put me over 100 yards, along with a touchdown. Uh, so I was very, very pissed off there. Uh, so here we go on passing, and something about the passing in this game, uh, I know I don't show it in this video, but for some reason it's difficult to catch the ball. Like, I'll hit Y, and my guy won't even make an attempt to catch the ball. Uh, especially on those HB screens. I know I, I uh, completed one earlier. Um, I, now I have to just not hit anything. So my guy runs the route himself. And he catches the ball himself. And then once he catches it, I'll run it. But um, sometimes on the HB screens, I'll run and I'll hit Y. And he won't even make an attempt to catch the ball. It'll just hit him and drop to the ground. And that's happened so many times to me. Uh, but you're going to see in the second quarter... Uh, we're making it close to the end zone. Uh, I'm trying to pick a play that would potentially get me into the end zone, but nothing shows up. It's just a uh, fullback run, which obviously I'm the halfback. So we're going to go with passing play. I have to block here. I fail there, but uh, I finally pick up a block. And I thought that was going to be a touchdown, but luckily for me it wasn't because I get the ball next play. And we're going to use some of the slow-mo and find our way into the end zone for our first touchdown of our senior or our junior year I should say because Barry Sanders is a junior in this um, so I get my first touchdown of the season and uh, I finally get to field a uh, special teams play I believe this is the first one I showed you uh, I fielded well I was on the kickoff return twice but the other guy got it uh, so as you can see we're up seven to three heading into the third and I'm getting the ball again, and I'm starting to pick up a little bit of steam, uh, mainly because I'm just shedding off tackles. Uh, other than that, you know, that sucked. <laughs> I fumbled the ball, and I get to go up to the guy to tackle him, and I wanted to strip it because I wanted revenge. I wanted the ball back, 
And that cost me, because if you try to strip the ball, you run slower than you normally should, and I could have easily tackled him. So instead of Tulsa either not scoring or maybe even getting a field goal uh, and only giving them six points, they take that one to the house, and now Tulsa's up 10-7 to in the third. So here's my first kickoff return of the game, and uh, apparently I'm supposed to get a kickoff return for a touchdown. It's not happening there. Uh, so we're back on the ball, back on the ground. And I'm not sure if I like Iowa State's playbook. They have a lot of those, uh, like these plays. I like the traditional counters, the traditional um, like tosses, sweeps, uh, stuff like that. Um, and these ones are just, yeah, as you're going to see, I get stuck behind the line there. That's all my fault. Um, I wish you could kind of push them out of the way like you could do in NFL 2K5, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. But anyways, um, a lot of their plays are weird. Uh, you have to go across the quarterback uh, for running plays, and I don't like those because it takes up more time in the backfield, uh, so it gives the defense more time to come after you. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to have to adjust the playbook. It seems like it's always the same couple of running plays over and over and over again since you can't really go up into the entire playbook. And I'm not sure if I really like when we run the Wildcat plays because they don't seem to work too well, especially in Heisman. The defense usually knows what's up. And you're going to see Tulsa tax on another field goal, I believe. Or, no, they, they tag on a touchdown somewhere along the way. I believe that was what just happened. Right? No. I don't know. Whatever. They, they tacked on a touchdown. So now we're down by 10 points in the fourth, the beginning of the fourth. And once again, I'm starting to pick up steam. You're going to see I have 82 yards rushing on 23 carries with one touchdown. Uh, heading into the fourth, which is not horrible, but for Barry Sanders, for Heisman contender, you're going to want to do better than that, especially against a team like Tulsa. And there we go. I believe that is the biggest run of the game for me. Uh, that's going to put us at, I believe, 99 yards rushing. You're going to see uh, in a second, I believe I show the play selection screen. No, I don't. Uh, so this is going to be another draw play here. And I break this one out to the side. And we pick up another first down, so there we go. 25 rushes, 109 yards, and one touchdown on the game. Uh, like I said, not too shabby, but if I want to win the Heisman, I have to do better than that, uh, especially in my next game. And these passing plays I just do not like, uh, but we actually do convert the first down there on that passing play. I wish you could see more on the field uh, on those passing plays. Like I would like to have seen what happened, but that's that obviously didn't happen. So on first down, we don't make it into the end zone. On second down, we don't make it into the end zone. Uh, we get tackled behind the line, which seems to happen a lot on Heisman. I know I said that about 30 times. And on third and goal, we finally find the end zone. That's going to bring us up to two touchdowns on the game. And unfortunately for us, Tulsa goes ahead. They tack on a field goal. And with only 20 seconds left in the game, we have to win. We need to score a touchdown. So here's another uh, crack at a kickoff return. We need to return this for a touchdown. The match with Barry Sanders did, and that's not happening either. So we're not going to return a kickoff for a touchdown like Barry Sanders did in his first game. Uh, so we have to get 182 yards rushing. I believe that was the number, and we're probably around 130. Uh, so our quarterback gets sacked. We're out of timeouts. We have to call no huddle. I called a no huddle. Because I don't know how much time would have wasted off if we selected another play. Uh, sometimes the computer's stupid and it takes forever. Uh, so very last play of the game, we throw it. We throw it to a guy that goes out of bounds, which isn't going to help because the time ran out. So we're going to lose this game 20-14. to 14. Uh, I believe I got around 130 yards with two touchdowns. You're going to see that in a second. Um, but that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully we can come away with a win next time. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time. Okay, 119 yards. I lied. Two touchdowns, 119 yards.